Hi, welcome back to Cheyenne, Wyoming Urban Gardener. This is Debbie, and now I'm proceeding to become a master gardener. I've been doing the master gardening classes. Anyway, we're out here this morning. This is September 27th, and we are digging potatoes. The vines have died back quite a bit. Some of them are still not died back, but there are several that are. And a lot of them had yellowed on the edges. And we are out here digging potatoes. Look at that. This is the biggest potatoes that we have had so far in the seven years that we have been here. Now we've had some pretty good potatoes. We had good potatoes last year. These are the Kennebec potatoes and I have not even dug in this section. All through here I have not dug yet. These are the ones that I just pulled up. Some of them surfaced when I pulled them up. The only area that I have dug is right there about three feet long and this is what we're getting out of that now look at the size of these potatoes look at that and that's not the biggest one this one is even bigger look at those Kennebec potatoes and they were still producing when I pulled them up there were still little potatoes hanging on them still going strong and like I said we've had a few that sunburned because I think we just ended up with so many potatoes that were pushing up out of the soil that it was crazy and these were not watered as much um, this season as they were probably the seasons before we held off on watering a whole lot um, just trying to conserve water especially because we are on city water so they were watered about every other day, especially towards the latter part of the season. And that is the potatoes that we've ended up with. Now the ones that have the green on them, like this one, do not, when you dig a your potatoes, eat the green part. This is toxic, so you can only cut that part out and use the rest of the potato. But what we do is we just basically pull them out of the ground and leave them sitting like this for a little while while we're digging the rest of the potatoes. And then we go ahead and get them into a cardboard box and then we will get them into the dark. Now this one doesn't have very much green on it. This area right here is basically the green part and we will cut that out and eat the rest. So we've only got a few that have that on them and it's just basically the ones that surfaced instead of staying in the soil. And we dug these a base of loose soil about 12 to 14 inches and then I dug a trench about four inches deep four to six inches deep and then we planted potatoes so this is the potatoes now my grandson has not seen the potatoes he just came outside to look Bill where's the potatoes show me potatoes yes so he's pointing at the potatoes right now so yes, we have some huge potatoes in here and we still have four more rows to dig and this is gonna fill one box or more in just one row. So I'm not sure how many that we're going to end up with. That was my grandson. But look at all those potatoes. And we're just gonna keep on going out through here and dig because there are more down in the soil, even in there because we've only dug the first few inches and there's way more down there in the soil and we're just basically cleaning up as we go along there were also some radishes that were planted in here in different places so we're getting those harvested we've got some nice radishes that are coming out of here and taking care of all this so like subscribe hit the notification bell for notices on new videos as they come out and again, this is the Kinnebec potatoes. You can't go wrong with them. They are a market style potato that was designed and they get quite large. They can rival the russet potatoes. And we will see you in the next one.